I spoke with a 30-year-old woman who's very intelligent today, and I don't talk politics with her because I know she's a liberal, and uh, she's a relative, a close relative. And we talked about, you know, dogs and food, and somehow the topic came up with the election, and she out of nowhere said why Obama will lose. Now, remember, she voted for him in 08. Nowhere, spontaneous, she said Obama will lose. And I said, well, why? You voted for him in 08. What's different? Here's what she said. He's done nothing, right? And the economy is still stalled. I said, that's interesting. So I said, it's still basically uh, bread and butter issues. I said, what about Libya? She said, what happened in Libya? Doesn't even know. Because of the quizzlings in the U.S. media, the American people don't even know that this president has abrogated his responsibilities as commander-in-chief and as president. But that, you know, that's not the issue. So I said, well, what do you think of Romney? I looked very carefully at her face, and she, she had a pleasant look. She, says, she said, he's okay, but certainly not the old man McCain was, who I feared might die in office when I voted for uh, uh, Obama in 08. And that was an interesting response. Then she added, but I wish Republicans were not so against abortion and gay marriage, she said, because, uh, frankly, as a woman, I'm for gay marriage and I'm for abortion. I didn't say one word. But you know that that's the entire zeitgeist of this election. And you know that's why the Democrats have tried to tar and feather uh, Romney with the abortion and gay marriage issue. So I let it go. But she said why Obama will lose, even though she voted for him in 08. And the answer was simple. He's done nothing, and the economy is still stalled. 